Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley. Today we're taking the BMW iX, specifically the iDrive 40, coast to coast from Ennis and County Clare at the beautiful Drumolan Castle, all the way back to Dublin, South County Dublin, where I live. I stayed here last night, it was my birthday yesterday, so I got treated. And what I wanted to talk about, first of all, is the efficiency of the BMW iX, but secondly, the importance of destination chargers and having correct chargers at that hotel. This is probably a perfect example of a destination charger. So you've got a 22 kilowatt unit, dual sided, and it also has the beautiful Dromolan Castle branding on it. So thinking about your brand, but also thinking about the situation of where these are parked. So this is what they call a valet parking charging. So they, what they will do is they'll charge it for you. And then once it's up to a certain level or you want it full before the night, then the following morning, they'll bring it around for you in the morning, fully charged. So you drop your EV here, you can plug it in. Uh, they'll plug it in for you. Now, that's not always the case with destination charges. You might have to do this yourself. Uh, this is just a service that they offer at Tremolan Castle. But my point being, they have a unit here at drop-off and they also have other units uh, that are coming in the main car park and also at the inn at Tremolan. So they're, they're spreading their EV charging solutions around the site. Uh, but it's great to see this one. You'd recognize this one if you're based in Ireland as a CERT control unit that ESB eCares would use, but it wasn't ESB eCares that put this in. These can be provided. Uh, they're a good hardwearing unit, but what I really like about it is the branding. As you know, I'm all about the branding. So leaving Drumoland, we are at 304 kilometer range at a 95% battery. So we're just finished in Ennis. We went into Murphy's menswear there. Decton looked after me with regards to a new suit. And we are leaving, heading to Mullingar. The distance is a hundred and, oh, that looks weird on the Korean camera, 184 kilometers. And I've got 278. These screens are flashing away. Um, so plenty of charge to get from here to Mullingar. And whether we need to stop and charge in Mullingar, or I put it on a charger or not, we'll figure it out. Um, I'm going to see if I can find um, usage, battery usage in the menu. Hopefully that BMW have some option there to see with the trip, etc. But I'll show you that once we get to Mulligar. So stay tuned. I'll stick the time lapse up. Thanks. just about to head away from Mullingar and we have to go back into Dublin city centre just in the outskirts near Houston station to pick up our puppy dog and then she's nearly two and then we are heading down to Dunleary so it's 111 kilometres we're not going to make it so we're at 87 down here um, and so unfortunately wasn't able to do the two 300 odd kilometer journey but I have been on motorways all the way from Ennis up to the outskirts of Galway and then all the way up the M6 here to Mullingar so it's been 120 kilometers all the way I didn't spare it aircon has been on um, so we're going to charge in Kinnegad at EasyGo the vehicle journey data you just have to ask for it hey BMW show me the journey data Here is the journey data. Uh, so the screen is refreshing there, so it's difficult to see it. Uh, since the last charge, which was last night uh, at the hotel, we're getting 30, 23.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and length of time and how many kilowatts that's used. Kilowatt hours that's used, it's 5.1. And you can actually go all the way back since factory. 
are getting an average of 25.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and so with the 77 kilowatt hour battery at 25 kilowatts per 100 kilometers that's bringing you about 310 uh, real world range and it's been cold it's been nine degrees it's been potentially a lot of motorway with the other journalists that are uh, reviewing this as well we've had over 5,000 kilometers so real world at this time of the year for the bmw ix x drive 40 looking around the 300 kilometers 320 kilometers just so you know um i will check in once we do a 20 minute stop off in kinnegad in easy go we're going to get something quick bite to eat inside in supermax anyway so i will sign in with you on the way out of kinnegad Fifteen minutes stopped at EasyGo in Kinnegad. Used just over eleven kilowatts of energy downloaded. So the length of journey I've got left is eighty-eight kilometers, and we have one hundred and twenty-six put in. So fifteen, sixteen minutes worth of a stop is all we needed. We got something to eat anyway. Let's keep going to Dunleary. Stop up, pick up the dog first. So we are back in Dunleary and we are going to look at some of the vehicle stats. And you can see it's still on since factory, so it is showing, I brought it down slightly, 25 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer. That is over 5,000 kilometers on this press vehicle. Since the journey started on the 3rd of the 3rd, this was filmed back in March, I was doing 21.9 kilowatt hours uh, per uh, 100 kilometers. And I have 42 kilometers left. Uh, beautiful drive, beautiful car, uh, not the most efficient, but it is a big heavy vehicle and I was doing a lot of motorway. Huge thanks to my Patreon supporters on patreon.com forward slash EV Review Ireland, Blake Boland, Eve Daly and Mark. Hopefully you've enjoyed my review of the BMW iX. If you're looking for a full review, uh, it's on the channel. I put a link on the screen and also in the description which was a fairly new car at the time, back in March of 2022. Um, you'll see a black version of this pulling in the other side of the driveway now, as you can see. Uh, give me two seconds. But hopefully you've enjoyed this range test. You can see it there in a second as I'm pulling out. It's reversing back and pulling in the other way. Uh, remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.